Uh, Shots. I think it's just a part of the beast. It's the nature of the beast that city is. This just in. Shots fired. Shots fired. Low key fucking death traps laying out for you. They constantly pull you down. So you just gotta be careful. So what do you do to avoid it? Um, you gotta shield yourself, fam. You gotta like get high, play a lot of video games, don't socialize. Right. <laughs> but isn't that tough as a comedian? Okay. Isn't that tough? Like you're supposed to socialize. You want people to see you. You want no, to of course, do a of good course. job. No, it's it's tough. Trust me. I'm the most anti-social person of all time. That was just that was just being stupid. But hey, you know, go. you got to get out. You got to network. Your day job is very critical. It's just about um, positive reinforcement through your own actions. And then if you can consistently get that out of the crowd that you're rolling with, I mean, sky's the limit, man. It's, it's a but it's to tough to find that in LA. Right? No, it's not. Actually, as soon as you turn your spirit energy into a different type of light, you just attract it. It's just about getting those negative Nazis out of your life. To get them out. Go ahead, Mr. Lloyd. I was so comfortable when you're like just swinging your, your, your leg over and everything. Hey, God gave... You know what, dog? Let's not talk about We need a photo it. shoot talking, right here for I'm you talking. today. You looking good. You confident. You doing your thing, you know? I don't know how to respond. I think I should I punch him in the nah, I don't know. I, I be, there's a, there's a lot of people I want to punch me in the my face. Friends don't say, like my friends my don't, don't say stuff like that to me though, man. You don't like what? I don't like my mic. You want to? I'll switch my mic. Uh, no, where you don't have another mic like, like that. So this, I'll, I'll give dope. you this mic. You give me that mic. Because I kind of want you to see how close I have to hold my. Mic. Okay, so let's switch. You have this mic. My hands are all sweaty, but besides that, there you go. So it's a little different, but it's not good. See? It's because it doesn't have the little pop on top. See? There you go, man. See, that's I why I look out for you. I wasn't trying there to you go. suck that Mike's dick. But, Don't, you know, it's all good, man. It's all good. I just wanted you to know. I, I no, you, no, no. Hold on. I love that. I wanted you to he's know. Like, he's like, yeah, I'm talking to Lloyd. He's like, I don't like my fucking mic. I said, yeah. Because I, I didn't like it. It like, called out. I don't like my fucking mic. You okay. see how it sounds? We've had. We've had I couldn't go. We've had battle rappers. We've had a lot of people. Nobody in the middle of a question has ever told me I don't like my fucking mic. I'm that nigga. There you go, man. I used to wear t-shirt capes to sleep. You used to what? T-shirt capes. There you go. All right. Halloween's every day. How do you deal with everything in L.A.? Because you're not from Angeles, are you? No, I'm not from uh, Los Angeles, man. Where are you from, sir? I'm from Chicago, B. Woo! Difference between Chicago comedy and LA comedy? Oh yeah, 100 percent man. I actually like the difference. It's, it's the difference between like uh college and the most treacherous corporation you can think of. Like that's that's the difference. What does that mean? I thought in, you were going somewhere else. In college there's a camaraderie. You know, like people are there yeah, to learn. Chicago. Yeah. Okay. Well, but it's LA, it's Hollywood. It was, it was, you know, so that's the excuse? You know what? They used that excuse for years when they were talking about the casting couch. Hey, man, I heard about the casting couch. Well, it's LA, it's Hollywood. What do you think? Well, being from LA doesn't excuse you for being a scumbag. So but why? There is a lot of people in LA that are fake and are trying to go after industry. They you know just, they don't know how to act, man. But even then. It was a cool cat like me. It's just you asked me the difference. That's the difference, man. Fuck I LA, fam. I hear you. No, it's not that you. From LA? But see, yeah, this is the fuck thing. LA. You seem like you have, this is about the fifth time you brought up LA in a negative light. Why is that? All right, so here's the thing. First of all, 9/11 destroyed LA. Whatever it was, the spiritual energy that we had out here, the backbone was broken. We allowed the floodgates of trans, transient people to come here and live and change the whole vocation and culture of this city. And there was culture. Like homeless hot swag. Now our homeless like nigga, I'm a vegan. Fuck you. This city is different. You got bold ass white people in Compton. It's just different. Well, that's gentrification. Nah, that's gentrification just, happens everywhere. Nah, nah. You know they still getting robbed at USC. Kids are still getting robbed over there. Yeah, you've been to, you've been to USC. It's nah, not, it's I not mean, the best day, but it's a lot better than what Ivy in the League 90s. school. Yeah, but it's a lot better than it was in the '90s. But still in a pretty tough neighborhood. I'm you're upset that the streets are getting safer. And I'm that upset. The homeless people are vegan and they're looking out for the. Public. I'm upset that I got friends who have lived here for their entire life getting kicked out because of rent control. I'm getting sick. Yeah, I'm pissed off yeah, that I'm, too, getting, yeah. I'm getting sick of the natives not feeling like they have a say so and these transients feeling like they have too much power because they're changing the attitude of the city and what it's capable of. There are people who can get discovered in a in a Whole Foods produce aisle. Out of nowhere, that shit really does happen. You could be sitting there writing your script at Starbucks, and then the producer just happens to read a page. 
that does happen out here but these fuck faces come over here and they paint this unrealistic ass picture that doesn't exist in the real world you have to put in that work because that work you put in puts you in that environment and that shit is when opportunity collides with all that preparation and you're saying the people that aren't from los angeles are fucking they don't up. understand that so they come out no, here no, you know what dog? i don't i gotta stop you because i'm not from los angeles but it's very simple what you just said you know what i mean like it's not a it's complex up, it's not a complex theory like i get it people out here there's a, a higher stakes but just because there's a high stakes in chicago i mean like that's how, how many friends you got that gave up Nigga, are you kidding? That came out here and gave up. I didn't watch. Bro, you don't. I didn't watch. You don't college dorm like, rooms. No, bro, come out here. Hold, hold, hold up. I'm hold gonna up. be somebody. Hold up. Waving See? their hands in the air on Instagram for like five years. All these dope ass photos, and now they back in Virginia. Bro, if we, if you really want to play this game, we can play that. No, there's no game. I'm just saying. Game. Chicago. Okay. I took classes with Thomas Middleditch, HBO. I've done shows with uh, all these different guys that came out here and took over. My friends don't come out here and quit. My which, friends come which, out here I and eat forever, is, nigga. I, I started on the hold up, dog. Hold, hold up. Ahead, ahead, I started on the same day as Lamar yeah, Morris. Okay, that's yeah, my dog. Drink that when shit. he moved out here, he got on from the jump. I don't fuck with niggas that don't make it. So all my friends you talking about in Chicago that come out here, they I'm on talking about top, most nigga. of the hold most up, but, of the transients. No, you said that. You said that. Hell yeah, I said it. Okay, most so, of the transients because you speaking about your little clique. My you're little one guy in a billion people. You're this one guy in a billion this people. Is a community. You're a rarity. So of course you're gonna bring together a people that the light. I'm talking about those shit bags that come out here with a fake dream. And don't say half the punchlines you do, bro. Stop speaking about people who have talent. I'm talking about the mean that brings the rest down, bro. I don't know those people. Exactly. You don't. You don't. Let me get control of my show. <laughs> I think you have a good point, though, because there is. A lot I know of I have a good point. But it's in, it's in every industry. A lot of people come out yeah. here and that's they don't make it. Yeah. That's called but the there world. Is people, but yeah. there is people in LA that don't make it. They think they're going to go up and be an actor. They think they're going to be a rapper. I mean, I put all of them all the time. I hate it's to say it, it's drugs. We're going to take it. It's, it's not drugs. It's 99%. Ethic, you know. 99% of the time, because uh, of the LA mentality of parents out here, they put their kids on drugs. Los Angeles. Do you think Los Angeles is the fakest place alive? Uh, I could see. I've met a few people yes but um if you're in if you're in your zone you're in your zone you're not gonna let the negativity if you're that's tough, right? yeah that it's tough. tough i mean it is a doggy dog world out here and i see it life though isn't it it that's is especially life. if you're trying that's to make life. it man life sucks life's not fair you think everyone in like la is fake um there are a lot of people that are fake out here um however if you go to miami i'm sure there are a lot of fake women with fake titties out there too so that's life it's, it's, it's just, just fake life, yeah no, it's, New York, same thing right? worst drivers though that's for sure in LA? la yeah but other than that you good you're from New York, right, Baco? No, I am from Los Angeles. I'm from Pacoima, California. Oh, you grew up. I spend a lot of time in, LA, in New York. So you're from the hood. Yeah. Don't be a modest. Jace. A Jace. It's not the 90s no more, you know. Yeah, Pacoima stepped this game up. But you go to you go to, we're stepping our game up as far you as go to New York a lot. We do go to New York a lot. So fly, you get to see the best MC New York all expenses paid in a couple months. I love that. So you see the difference in the state of mind of an average Los, Los there Angeles. Was a difference. So there was those fake people in New York as well. I agree. What I've heard the common characteristic about a regular New York person who's in the industry is they got their day game together. Like they'll have all the little things taken care of but just won't have the follow through. Whereas LA, they'll have all the social media together but never been on an audition. Yeah, but social media is a big part of life though, if you're in the game. Now! Yeah, well, how do you feel about that? that. Yeah. How do you feel about that altering life, everything? How do you but how do you feel about that altering? Ninety five percent of my social media is oh, ninety five percent of my business social media. I met you on social media. I met you on social media. Yeah. I met you on social media. I met Ash on social media. Go ahead. What you gotta say, man? Let's talk about it. That's what we here for. I'm just trying to remember. I was referred to you from a friend, Chris. No, no. Bet you know how he found me because of social media. Uh, there you go. You good? You fired up? You feeling good? Can you I answer? Can I answer the question? You can I answer the question? Out here, man. Shy town. I represent Lloyd Collins. Anything other than that is fucking debatable. So let's that. let's start there. <laughs> how you feel about that new show, The Shy? Um, how you feel about that title? How you feel about Common wearing a fucking daishiki? Oh, we can when say I, the same thing about a billion shows in LA that are based on South Central. I'm like just that. asking him ahead, about the representation of Chicago. I'm putting my mic down. I've been meaning to ask you that though, low key. 
Uh, I don't like that they didn't use uh, Chicago actors. I knew, I knew you had points. Well, I'm sorry. It's a lot of it's a lot of guys that fit all of those roles. Right. They hang out on Clark and Lake, but they got dude from Kicks. That's a uh, freaking um. San Francisco. They got a dude from um, New Orleans. Like, what, oh. where the Chicago actors at? You know. Oh, I'm sure everyone in Boys in the Hood was from LA. Let's do the math on that. Actually, let me check. Fuck that. I want to know. But I'm just saying, the overall tone of the show seemed like it was a a, a take on you know just murders in Chicago. It, it, it's not very truthful, but I like how they subtle mistakes even just from the pilot episode i can see the subtle mistakes in chicago like in that show the shy lead to your downfall and it's like that in chicago you know like you will have made a mistake five steps ago right. and not even realize it till after you've been shot robbed well it's the pilot episode you gotta but, give it a season but i'm just talking about like the, <laughs> the way that they set it up Vodka. is close to the reality of it oh shit Suzy Q, do you like how uh, Miami hip hop is being represented in the mainstream today? Uh, yeah, um, actually, it's come up from a long time ago, like 2004. Khaled, Pitbull, I, I feel like it's all international now. I'm so proud of my city. Um, and there's more. There's more. Uh, there's more people that you gotta hey, listen to, and they're coming up too. Do you um? What is the biggest difference between LA hip hop and Miami hip hop? Uh, there is a difference. Um, we got that southern. It, there's a. It, you could hear it. It's not even. I'll just I'm not play talking one. sound. I'm talking attributes. What is the difference? They act this way. They act that way. What's the biggest difference? Not sound. Wow. What's the biggest difference? Um, I I feel like L. A. Uh, has been through a lot more as as a city, as um as a culture too. Um, than Miami has. Not that you know Miami doesn't have drug issues. I mean the whole city's built on drugs, you know, but um I don't know, it's a different it's a different act, a different character. Um these these rappers are down out here. They're down and I feel exactly. like I don't know, like they they'll come to you like whatever, like they're ready to fight or they're ready to tell you what's real or I don't know, I I really enjoy the rappers out here. I do there you go. It's a lot of creative. Let me ask you, man, where are you from? Are you from LA? <laughs> I'm from Chicago. Oh, you from Chicago? Hey. Hey. Man. She's fucking Another Chicago. shot. What's down. the biggest difference in your eyes between Chicago uh, comedy and LA? Um, I mean, it depends on where you go in Chicago because you have South Side comedy and then you have North Side comedy. What's the difference with the people listening that have never been to Chicago? Uh, with the comedy there? Um, yeah, what's the difference between both sides? Well, you have, if you think of South Side Chicago, there people like Lloyd, right? You have people, yes, like Lloyd down there, yes, of course. And then if you can imagine what the north side of Chicago is, then yeah, that's that's pretty much the difference. However, I mean, out here, you can go anywhere and everywhere, and there's a whole bunch of diverse people. Not saying that Chicago doesn't have that, because it does. It's just you can tell the difference. LA is a big melting pot out in, in Chicago, form, right? yeah. yeah. And what I noticed out here is there's an open mic called the Oyster House that's mostly black comedians, kind of like in Southside Chicago. And then there's uh, another show called at the Foxfire Room that uh, comedian Chris Neff runs, and that feels like more of a north side type of Chicago comedy show also. So I was like, oh, there's kind of similarities here also, but you're going to have a very diverse group out here I feel like a little bit more but you never no know where you go yeah but yeah. Chicago is changing it's always changing so I I don't want to hate on the fact that we're still you know diverse or like whites here and blacks here because that's not the case because I think when you go there and you do comedy you're gonna see that it's almost same but a little bit different also like we was saying so. what part of LA are you from man what yo so most block? most of the actors were from LA What's the newest show that's about LA? Dope, right? Or what's what's the newest show? That's about LA? Uh, White Famous, not bad. All right, so check how many comedians from LA on that show. Because this is this is twenty years ago. None. That was a bad example. This what? is a bad example. That's twenty five years ago now. Uh, I'm from, uh, just to answer your previous question, I'm from Beverly Hills. I was Are born. you really from Beverly Hills? Yeah, man. Okay. It's kind of hard to yell about Compton when you're from Beverly Hills, right? Well, my dad graduated from Compton Junior College. I come from both sides of the track. Best of so, both worlds. So, but he moved to Beverly Hills? Yeah. What's the biggest difference between Beverly Hills and Compton? Shots fired. There you go. Right. <laughs> Yo, real quick, we're going to go news music video by my boy Slum the Resident.
Catch him in Las Vegas, Louis 20th for the whole Young Box production crew. We're going to try to get Susie out there as well, man. Peace out, phone. We'll be back. Had to kill the competition, I was counting all the dough. These hoes only coming for 
dough Your friends gonna hate on the low And I ain't gotta take a pose for the photo I don't know what these hoes done thought Hey, thing I want and I went and I bought And I don't need no hate around me Fuck you mean, I blew bands on me I don't sell no dope around here, but I need the dough Keep it on the low Spend no cash, no dough. What the fuck? I look like loving these hoes. Shorty see me round, round real low and some slow like a UFO. I don't spend no cash, no dough. What the fuck? I look like loving these hoes. Used to catch you sleeping in the bando. Now I'm somewhere counting up the cash flow. Baby mama, let you know I'm an asshole. You snakes try to cover up like camo Sick play street games like a piano Knock a bitch get played like a Hasbro Somewhere talking to my shadow High octane hit him with the gas flow Got a pack, something like a Jansport Dope trap, slanging out the dashboard Too fly, shit'll call me passport Mini clock, treat you like a backboard Don't ask, that's what the task for They hit the spot, now I'm running out the back door Six shots, hanging out a rap four Shoot a whistle if you ever see the task force Real life really started from the bottom, no He's the pain, what you think I set the bottle for? Couldn't see what I See, and I'm Tom Force, or the war, tales from the corner store. Don't like this life, what you started for? Walls in the hood looking like a chalkboard. Hit them up, watch them fall, that's a deadline. One thing I know, they gon' respect mine. I don't know what these hoes done thought. Anything I want, and I went and I bought. And I don't need no hate around me. Fuck you mean, I blew bands on me. I don't sell no dope around here, but I need the dough, keep it on the low. I don't spend no cash, no dough, what the fuck I look like loving these hoes. Shorty see me round, round real low in some s like a UFO. I don't spend no cash, no dough, what the fuck I look like loving these hoes. I don't know what these hoes done thought. I don't know what these hoes done thought. I don't know what these hoes done thought. Yo, 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 we back on the B-side form, man. The first ever, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but this is the first time we've ever had comedians on. We've had DJs, we've had battle rappers, we've had MCs, but I said, you know what? I'm going to invite my favorite comedians and get them on the show. And while we had break, Lloyd Collins told me that he made me, so I just want to say thank you in front of everybody. everybody. I it means said, a lot what? To, oh, you made, said, you made me. You made him. You said, I made you. you said, when did I, I say that? You. When did I say no, that? I no. no, no, I didn't say that. I didn't say it. All I said was, when did I say that? Two minutes ago, when we were off camera, you said I made you. Off the so record. I said, I said, we should make this a Lloyd Collins. No, segment. what I said is I made you set me up to call you a punk ass bitch. Oh, That's what I. Go. Oh, he did go. say that though. So he now, did. So you, no, you remember? Hold I, don't, on. I don't care if you say stuff like that. But now, but do you remember? Is going to have to no, go yeah, he and does and because he's the one who said. My bad. He said a lot of people don't get away with that. He was like a lot of people don't get away. He didn't say it was a clean show. I don't know. You seen? You seen the new Chappelle show? Nope. This motherfucking guy. You gotta love it, dog. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. What is the, what is the last stand-up quick. comedy show that you saw that you enjoyed? Uh, the last one I enjoyed, I think I was about 12. You I'm lying like, right day. now. What, what? You lying. You were just over here is lying. It, is it tough for you to enjoy other comedians being a comedian? It's not tough for me to enjoy other comedians, but I have no authority to speak on what any other comedian does. Like, that's not well, that. you But hold on. It's like, it's like a personality. Ah! I can't tell you <laughs> how to do your personality. You are you. So if I was to speak on that, I feel like I would be infringing upon who you are. So I do what I do, but yeah. I don't really talk about other comedians work in public. That's just me. I, I can't touch the weed, man. I'm trying to be a politician. Like oh, that. here we go. Yeah, you know, can't, can't fuck it up, man. Because all they need to get is the picture of me holding it. That mess up. They got pictures. Yep. <laughs> um, I, you, you are still a human being. And you can say I enjoy that or I don't enjoy that. I look at I look at comedy the way that mathematicians look at math. I'm always trying to get to the equation, so there is no enjoyment. There's just what are these? How do these numbers add up? What is this right Nigga, here? You can count. Can you do my taxes? Damn, man, this nigga's talking shit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> for no reason, though. No, that's that's passion. It, it, it is tough for me to go to other sh- hip hop shows and enjoy it. Because you see money you ain't making. Yeah, Why? I do. 100%. My I nigga say, Lloyd Collins. See, I don't you do comedy for the money. I say, DJ I Susie. You don't, hold up. No, LA. Hold on. We do this thing on the B side form. If I think you're lying, we cut off your mic. Okay. 
Now you don't do comedy for the money. No, no, he doesn't. Hold on, bro. Hey, I can speak for myself, dog. My bad, nigga. I was just trying to. I'm Lloyd Collins. I speak for myself. Okay, nigga. Relax. I'm on your team, bro. When you don't be well from in Chicago, I said I don't close like your teammate, nigga. I don't see no Obama phone in person, man. That's dope. Oh, Obama. Go ahead. What were you going to say? <laughs> so you, you, you don't do money for you don't do comedy for the money. No, if I did comedy for the money, I would have quit day two. <laughs> wow, On I the heard second that. day of work, man. Damn. So why do you do it? Because there's literally nothing else I want to do. And except make people laugh. It's not even about the laughter. It's about the messages, man. Like. It's a chance for me to communicate in any form I can choose to get across what I want to say. And then hide it with laughter. You've learned some of the best things, jokes, and they've had a lot of logic in them. And, you know, that's what I go for, man. I'm, I do me. Susie, is it able for, are you able to go and enjoy another DJ set? 100%. Are you able to be like, yo, this DJ's killing it? Absolutely. Because you're a confident woman. I, I appreciate that. I, I, when I go out, I'm working. If I'm out with my friends, I'm working. I'm listening. I'm enjoying that shit. I love it. But you want to be the best DJ of all time. I am the best DJ of all time. That's what I'm talking about, The fuck? Man. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about, man. Is it able, are you able to enjoy comedy going out? Uh, yes. And you don't, you don't think maybe I, man, I could have thought about that joke. Damn, I should have said that. It's, you don't think that way? I mean, I think every comedian thinks that way. So. So it's hard to enjoy something when you keep criticizing yourself. Like, damn, I could have thought. About but every that. artist does that. So. Yeah, whatever. that's right. It's, I can't go out to like parties and enjoy myself. I can't. Right. I don't even go to my own parties and enjoy myself. I'm a mess. Oh. Okay. Do you enjoy going to comedy shows and be like, yo, that dude is fucking funny? I think I write the best jokes when I hear sets. Whether they're so shitty. You just copy people's stuff. You no, know. they spring up and trigger my own personal memories. It's like smelling a Twinkie and thinking about that one time you got stitches in the park. Like some some words just bring up other words. That was, that was super specific about that. Yeah, well, you know, Twinkies remind me of this one time I got stitches in Inglewood visiting my mom. Well, you'll give Beverly Hills. You shouldn't be going to Inglewood, right? Nigga, my mom was a crackhead who lived in South Central. You should have never Both said sides. you were from Beverly Hills, well, She came Hills, on bro. up, man. She came on yeah. up. I'll tell you that. But my dad had custody. Do you, uh, are you, are you glad that you, well, obviously you have to go with your dad, not your mom, right? I didn't know but it. Was it tough for you a kid from Beverly Hills going to Inglewood, going to Compton? Yeah. And is your mom comfortable with you putting all her business out there? Yeah. The that's watched by hundreds of people. Yeah. Huh? There you go, man. Anything for the, anything for a laugh, right? No, it's just truth. It's just raw. Where is the line um, as far as comedians go? Hey, maybe I should talk about that. Is there no line or is there a line? I feel like if you live in that, because of how short our lifespan is, the only person you're cheating is yourself. Because what you have to deal with as a human being, when you reflect in moments where you're by yourself, is honesty. And if you can deal with that reality, then you're good. But if you can't, then don't don't push that. So Dave Chappelle got a lot of heat the last couple of months because he's making fun of transgender people. Right. Um, he was saying what a lot of people were thinking. He was saying what a lot of people were thinking. I'm just saying he was saying a lot of stuff that people were it's, thinking. It's if he was Dave Chappelle, he wouldn't get away, get away with. Um, you learn that actually. That's a good point to bring up. You learn that as a young so comedian. Big bucks. Well, you just learn as a young comedian um, your lane. There's some shit you can't say yet, or there's some shit that you need to build into and get your crowd to trust you. But why not? You can say whatever you want. I people are just true. People I agree. I agree. Well, I agree. In I Arkansas, can say whatever the fuck they want, and they'll protect it by this umbrella that you know what is common. I agree. Um, you saw what happened to Kathy Griffin. She's not Dave Chappelle. Yeah, but that was tough. That's Yo, you can give her 15 excuses portion, if you want. You can give her 15. Sounds like an excuse. You pointing everything. That was an excuse. Dave Chappelle would have done it. It would have been a little funnier. And people would have rolled with it. That's, that's a little tough, though. When Yo. You're, when, you're holding somebody's, when you're holding a man, the president of the United States, the greatest country on this planet, when you're holding the president's head up, that's, that's a little tough. No matter what you think about it. I'm not a big fan myself. But I can't get away with taking a picture of on Instagram of me holding a man's head. I mean, there it is. No limit comedy right there for you. It depends on the messenger because people will not only shoot you, they'll dis dis great dis own you. She should. You can't get you. away with shit like that. I mean, you can't. I don't care if you're a comedian, if you're whatever you are. You can't hold the president's head, bloody head in your hand. I think you can. If you why want. can't you? you? Okay, think about it. If 
any other improv troupe or whatever did that and they weren't Kathy Griffin or weren't a huge star, they'd get away with it. Why? Because nobody would be looking. And there were no cameras. There's always that cam- part. In 2017, 2018, there's always cameras. At an improv show? No. I, Everywhere. I've, got, I've gotten yelled at I for I think filming. there's always cameras. I've gotten yelled at for having I live for my filming, life like everyone's so always watching. I just think that's interesting. But I, well, everyone I, has, everyone's a journalist. Everyone, they have right. their phone. No, no, no. I, 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 I agree with you. I'm just saying I've been at a show, an improv show, where they're like, please put your phone away. And I'm, I'm like, why? Because it's 2017. You think everyone can film everything. But at certain shows, apparently you can't. So it's interesting that... But comedy is that gray space where like, hey, maybe you should be filming this, right? But you're never going to be at a hip-hop show or a country show or a punk show. Where somebody's going to be like... your phone and someone's going to be like, yo, put that away. That's so right. Because comedy, that's when you cross the line and you say, hey, I'm protected by this umbrella, which is known as comedy, you know? No, but can I tell you something, though? I'm glad you brought this up. Here's the thing. Amy Schumer fucked that up by sending all these goddamn secret agents to shows literally writing down other comedians who were emerging talents jokes this is a known fact not other not only her but i'm sure other comedians have done it but but that happens in every industry though yeah usher got blamed from some shit that happens every industry i agree no, I said, I said herpes. Wow, she called your boy out, Usher. Sorry. You over there giving but you know, people a clap. We good, we good, we good, we friends. But you know, it was proven that the woman was lying and he does not have herpes. Damn. But you don't he, hear that story, too. I mean, nah, she... You just hear the story with Usher, Usher paid her for this, sure. This woman gets on stage... Wow, she's 100, bro. Her facial expression said everything. Usher paid her for sure. The man is suing her because he says, I do not have herpes, I do not give you herpes, we did not sleep together. And he's in the lawsuit right now. But well, you don't hear him. That I hope it story. works out. I hope yeah, it works out. Yeah, no, but you don't hear that story. You just hear the hook. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 a planet where somebody could say, "Hey, Young Bach could punch me in the face," and now Young Bach's accused of punching somebody in the face. Right. But I never did something. But all you hear is the headline. It's not even about the and truth. You know what? When I prove myself innocent, nobody hears that. It's they about who says it first. Yeah, that's it, man. It's about who says it never first. Too. My man, how do you feel about the situation, man? I don't give a fuck about the situation. <laughs> <laughs> Mic drop. Do you feel like it's appropriate for people to film stuff at comedy shows? I don't care. Like, who cares? You don't care, but there's some comedians like yo, Dave Chappelle says, hey, "That's up to each lock, establishment." Lock your stuff up before you come in. That's up to each establishment. It's like, can you can you go to uh, you know uh, Wingstop and be like, "Hey, man, how do y'all feel about uh, Hooters selling shitty wings?" <laughs> What? I think I think Wingstop has. I'm just saying it's Hell no. Whoa. Wingstop. Wing Which one are you going to? The one in the valley? Yeah. Listen, I don't want to tell everyone well. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know you, you can think that. Okay? Yeah, yeah, you go to the one in the hood, bro. Fucking house. You gotta go to the one in the hood. There is people that consider that say, you know what? You can't film my comedy show because whatever I say is protected under umbrella. That's people who are scared to generate material. I don't know those people, Dave though. Dave Chappelle's one of the main guys. But Whoa, on. you heard that from somebody? Well, hold on. What did I hear? That Dave Chappelle doesn't like that? What does oh, it you matter? Have to lock, he talks about it. You have to lock your phone up before you go to a show. You're not allowed to bring your phone in the film. Huh? That's a known fact. You know, I'm in this comedy world now, man. You know, I'm doing comedy shows. I know this shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm not just a hip-hop guy no more, you know what I'm saying? How do you feel about that? I really don't well, care. Well, actually, especially when you talk really about it. He says, hey, if I didn't make you guys lock up your phone, I wouldn't be able to say this stuff. Wow. Dude, Dave Chappelle throws these parties in Ohio in a, in a barn. And John Legend comes to uh, the Hoots come to do all this for shit. a comedian. But before you go in there, you have to check in your phone. When you leave, you take your phone back out. That's there's so many other strings attached to that reality, yeah, like though. Dave Chappelle, Dave the one percent of comedians. Kevin Hart as well. Talk that shit. Fuck that. Like, that's why, that's Not even Kevin saying. Hart. No, but but me Chappelle. personally, as Lloyd yeah. Collins, what do I care about? Audiences filming? I really don't give a fuck. Film or don't film. Like uh, it's uh, whatever is gonna happen. But you is should want happen. people to film you, right? Because if they film you, they put up on the Instagram, that's 500 people that are going to see them. I don't really care you, about that. You should give a fuck about people saying Why? Them, man. Why, why should because I not? All about the but this is the thing, though. That's, that's to you. That's how you live your life. Hell yeah, that's how I live my life. I live man. my life. I'm the, this is a journey, it's bro. The, it's all about the squilla, man. This yeah. is a journey, man. I do journey. I do my journey for experiences. The experience of going on stage. The experience of understanding how this shit works, man. I don't, I'm not but drinking. you want to make money. <laughs> you want to make money. Yeah. Everybody wants to. You have to make money. If you I don't ju- make money, you don't eat. But did this you, is the thing, though. If you did don't you make money, you're re- homeless. Renew your 
this is the thing though. It's like how you should you, renew your subscription first. How bad do you want it? But you want to make money in your you life. Go. A magic genie pops up and says, Lloyd Collins. That's like saying, do I want to be alive, bro? Like, I mean, well, uh, a magic genie comes up and says, Lloyd Collins, what do you want? You have two wishes. One of your two wishes is going to be like, I want a lot of money. Am I wrong? Yeah. So what's your two wishes? Magic I don't genie know. My, two, my first wish would be that we did away with the money system and everybody had the same amount of money. Everyone says hippies. It's all love. It's all it's over. But see, how can you Come name on, it man. if you haven't been there? Like, I don't know. I don't think about shit like that. I'm constantly you doing what I do. Money. It's, no, I don't. No, money. you have to think about money. Everybody has to think about money. The All I have to think have about is my experience. Right now is because of money. Bro, I have faith in myself. I have a bunch of faith. So I, I have get a that. Ton of faith. It's, I have a, it's faith one in thing. The Lord, I have faith in me. I have a faith in the system. It's one thing to do money. Is do comedy for money. It's another thing to do comedy and make money from I'm it. I'm not saying you think you're doing comedy for the money, but you think about money. Y'all niggas are having conversation with each other, but it's like I don't what the it's with I, I don't your conscience. You know what I think about when I wake up? It's not even with each other. That's all I think. How are we gonna do this? How are we gonna do this? How are we gonna fight this guy? How are we gonna do this? It's all money. That's just that's a game. That's the game that you're in. I'm I'm an artist. That's the game that everyone's in. You know what, dog? I, I feel what you're saying, but it's just my so actions mean game, something more. But there has to be something more than money to life. <laughs> Yo, even when you're homeless, that's a new game. There has game. to be something more than money than life. You can't just devote your life to something that's unending. Like this is the thing: money is defined in numbers. Numbers are never ending. Never. So at a certain point, your search for money will be never ending. That's how you don't search for it. There no. is um, those Young Buck Productions. And there's an Anabox Foundation. And all the Anabox Foundation does is give money away. We just give money away. We buy um, Thanksgiving meals for people that need it. We buy Christmas gifts for a group home. All we do is fun give money away. So we're thinking about more than just money. We want to change people's lives. But that's, that's but, but hold on. But if we, a, if we didn't make money, we wouldn't be able to do that. Truth. Okay, thank you, sir. I'm with that nigga hey, because you what the fuck? But you know what? That Like I said, bro, I... I'm an artist and my life is about my experiences and my journey. Do I think about money? I do think about money because I have to survive to my standard of living. But do I do comedy for the money to do that? No. I do comedy even with none of those things in the, in the equation. I don't think anyone gets in comedy to make money. Truth. I don't think anyone. I don't think anyone says to say, "Hey, I want to be Warren Buffett. I'm going to be a comedian." I don't think <laughs> it's, it's even deeper than that, man. It's like the motivation. Me, man. The motivation to want to be funny doesn't just happen one day, and then you decide, "Oh, I'm going to make these videos. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that." There's a journey from being an, a, a person to being an artist to being an artist that is wildly successful. And all those three are intertwined. You can go through any one of them at either time. You can just start out and be very successful and then spend the rest of your life going through those same stages because that's what artists do. Like, just because somebody likes my comedy doesn't mean my comedy is better. It just means that this is where I'm at in my journey. And at this point, I'm at a point where I have to love comedy more than money because money can't provide me with the motivation I need to get through that journey. If, if I wanted... If, this is bad, except if I wanted just money... I want to be in hip hop, but I feel like because I'm in this game, I can change people's lives. We can do stuff like the Anna Bach Foundation. We can do stuff like, hey, I want to give you a chance to fly out to New York, all expense paid, four days. Hey, you know what? I'm gonna give you two thousand bucks for the best MC because we're in that game. We want to change people's lives. I could, I could, I could fucking, now, I could bunch of clock for the rest of my life and make more money than I make. Now I'll bank. tell you this, man. While you doing that, I'm sitting back crafting jokes, teaching these people how to do that for themselves. I'm sitting back Which talking. A, it's a tough. But hold it's up, tough. though. I'm sitting back talking about things, showing all these different connections going on, showing all these different ways to be free on stage, whether it's with improv or stand up. And I'm doing that because I'm trying to teach them how to fish, not give them a fish. If you sit back and you read my jokes, you would know about Black History. Okay, you would know about uh, big fish. Anyway, man, y'all want to really play quick. around. I noticed. I love Loy. What's wrong with you? I love Loy. I'm not. I'm just me, man. You in the game for money? You want to make money, right? Need to pipe down. Got to talk. Talk about money. Her shit is low. I don't do music for money, but obviously I want money. I have multiple outlets for income, and it's just like doing as much of what I love to be able to. Fuck yeah. I I realized as I got older that if you chase 
money if you chase women or if you chase cars you're if you chase these never-ending things you'll never ever fucking be happy never happy you'll never be happy if you chase these things that are unattainable like just stop just don't do it you'll never be happy stop. are you in comedy for money um sure <laughs> why not <laughs> Good answer. You a comedy for money? Fuck no. I got into comedy because I couldn't afford a fucking therapist. And I needed people to talk to that wanted to listen for a short period of time because it was honest. Who the fuck listens to you for more than five minutes straight? Besides your parents. You know what? Baka, I know you've been in this. Because you're a handsome guy, man. Look at you go. Oh, man, that's what I'm talking about. Look at you go. So you've been in situations where you really, literally are talking to somebody? You're a business guy. You got the females. Both both, both genres of life. Both genres of life. Aren't you like... I wish I could give this bitch the light right now. Like, I'm done. Like, you could just... Because in comedy, when it's your set is a rap, you get the light. You got yeah, that's it. 60 seconds to wrap this shit up. Don't you wish... When you got somebody just lingering, they stutter a lot. They just... And you say that's it. You just want to give them the light. I don't call women bitches, so I, I wouldn't know. Oh, so you're one of those rule-following ass niggas. One of those guys. Yes, I am. One of those guys. You feel the same way? I don't even know what you're talking about. I have no idea. I have no. Calling you women bitches. <laughs> <laughs> you caught a couple women bitches. You have. I mean, like, oh, boy, obviously, obviously, <laughs> you have. Oh, boy, Collins. 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 Well, you know, I, I will say this. Um, what This reminds me of the first gang that I ever joined that you guys bring this up. <laughs> So I'll talk about that was in the eighth grade. It's, it's never a good sign. <laughs> wow! It's the never a good grade. sign if you join more than one gang. It's yeah. not a good sign. Yeah, well, part. I didn't say that I didn't. I just said this is the first. I didn't say it wasn't the last, but thank you though. Uh, but yeah, man, first first gang I ever joined was called the BPC, and that was short for the Bitch Pleasing Crew. So. <laughs> Wow. Did you have t-shirts? Yeah, we had the little t-shirts. <laughs> uh, we dressed like new edition and shit. We, wow, bro. <laughs> made our dads buy mopeds. Nigga, like we was pulling up on the spot, G'd out. Made your dads? Yeah, yeah. Got good grades. That's all it Dang. took. <laughs> I used to reverse leverage that shit. I'd be like, Dad, I don't think I'm going to get good grades unless I get a motorcycle. He'd be like, all right, son, I got you. How does your family feel that you said, you know what? I want to be comedian. They all think that I'm crazy and I need mental help and that something went wrong when I joined the military. Damn. So they told you. Susie Q, when you said your, you, when you said your family, hey, <laughs> I want to be a DJ, I'm going to California, what do they say? Well, when I said I wanted to be a DJ, my mom's like, let's go to Guitar Center. She ran her credit. What a life. I huh? bought all what my shit. Life. Wow. I'm the youngest of three girls, man. Come on. I got, I got, uh, no, I, I'm blessed. I'm really blessed. Not everybody, um, you know, gets to say they have uh, caring parents fun. and shit, you know, like, man, I'm, I'm, I'm so blessed. Every day I wake up, man. Ooh. Um, but no, when I decided to move out here, they were obviously torn. Uh, but I, I've been away before. I went, I was in college in Orlando, so I've been out of the city. Um, so they have yeah, that but feel. Miami to Orlando is big difference between Miami and California. Right, and then I did a cruise line, so I was a year on a cruise, so they didn't see me for a year. Yeah, you must have fucked I it was up, like man. bouncing, dude. Fuck shit up, man. And then I'm out here, like I'm out here for good, dog. Like I, I don't have any plans of no movements. Like your family wants to come back home. Absolutely. What do they say to you? Absolutely. Um, that's you say, it. Hey, I'm hanging out with Young Box with the other show. Uh, yeah, right? I'm, I'm good. Yo, what the fuck you do with your life? Like, well, on, come on, come on. what do you want me home for? Like, she doesn't want to go back after the hurricane. You exactly. Know? <laughs> now nah, I'm good. Too much distraction out there, man. I'm, I'm good out here with you. You, you told your family I want to be a comedian. What do they say? I didn't tell my family anything. My parents still are confused of what they I do out here. They still think you're a doctor, right? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, are you saying? Are you saying that my parents? Yo, are that shit was too I, I think funny. Your parents are Asian. 
My parents, I don't have Asian parents. So Ooh. That, that would be a false accusation and what assumption. What I have, have white what? parents. You can't, you can't, you can't say so it's an assumption. One, one point to the red kids. corner. No. <laughs> so they, they hey, Baku, whatsoever what, what, hey, Baku, never one? ever I thought I would ever oh, become a, a doctor. Yeah. <laughs> ever. So hey, therefore. Really two plus two is four? <laughs> Yo, I can't right <laughs> now. That, that is wrong. Never have they ever thought I would ever become or succeed to be a doctor. However, so what do you we do, you do have a doctor in the family, but it's not me. Uh, my parents still are confused at what I do. They're like, oh, you model? Oh, we we just saw your rap on YouTube. <laughs> they, they still don't know what I do. My, my old, eldest brother knows that I do comedy and he's like really he's like good go do that because he majored in biochem and has a master's he's visible, right? and he's like don't tell anyone to major in science there's no jobs and i'm like okay he's like but good for you go do comedy that's i would never be able to do it and i'm like okay cool thanks so that's kind of cool you thought you cracked on mother and your, your dad lives in beverly hills hey i want to be a comedian and they said we, we your crack you. mother i got lucky said. i got yes. lucky i had a father oh, fucking start start shit over here so you said you it. said I love it, it. Yeah, i'm not gonna say what you said yeah but you start shit he said that i didn't say that you just said that yeah, sir Hey, you I was just like, if I can this is my nigga right here. You know? Hey, you just one, say. You gotta give a nigga the one two combo. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, the nigga said give him the So, I don't know, crackhead mother. Yeah! How does your crackhead mother feel about you reading? So you what is you she? <laughs> this motherfucker! That she used a big lighter? He said that. I didn't. No, he said that. <laughs> you just shit. Yo, this guy, Yo, this guy Young so Bach is an asshole. Yeah. You said, hey, I want to be a comedian. They said, cool? Or they said, what the fuck are you doing? All right, so basically, you got to understand. When you say you want to do stand-up comedy, everybody is waiting for you to either be like, yo, I slipped my wrist a lot and didn't make it. Or, you know what I mean? I've been taking a lot of Xanax lately. So it's always a negative thing. But I got lucky I have a father who grew up in the industry, used to DJ, and then he owned his own record label. Mr. Tookie Sells. His name is Barry Fitzgerald Coe. What was his DJ name? Shit, nigga, come on. You asked me. Barry Fitzgerald Coe. 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 Barry you asked me which DJ question, Black. Magic. I said, with your mom, thug shit like that. Fits. Yeah, I feel you. I, feel I, got, you. I got lucky too, man. I had a great dad. I had like the. All right, best. well, let's not finish the Barry's question because yeah. this nigga doesn't matter. Oh, fuck all that, man. nigga. I'm on the mic. I'm talking all the shit. We'll talk more shit, sir. Please. All right, well, you know, I got a white toilet seats when I get up. I talk so much shit. <laughs> <laughs> Can you explain the logic of that? Uh, no, I don't even I don't even remember saying anything. Uh, okay, like all right, my bad. All I'm trying to say is I got lucky with parents who supported me. My mom was too cracked out to do anything, but my dad was supportive. I don't no, my mom's recovered. She's been recovered for like ten years, but my dad was dope with it. Yeah, yeah, he's super supportive. And my stepmom your your dad said, Go ahead, pursue comedy. Well he just did you always have a spot at Beverly Hills if you want to come back. They live in Vegas now. Vegas is nice. Vegas has got some real estate that's popping. If you want to make that extra money, though, since you all about the script, I like this nigga trying to sell me on something. He's like, "Yo, it's, Vegas, uh, Vegas popping." It's nice when it's not anyone that's not shooting in Vegas. Yeah. No, it, Yo, she makes nice. valid points. I don't want anything to do with that. I'm trying to be a politician. Fucking right hashtag Vegas yeah. strong. What were you about to say before this man cut you off? I don't remember. Sorry, <laughs> the moment is way gone. It's five minutes ago, dog. I'm good. So your family thinks you're nuts, right? Cause of you course. Went, you went to the military. You did your thing. You come home. You say, "Hey, you know what? I'm gonna. I'm not gonna be a doctor. I'm not gonna be a lawyer. I'm gonna be a fucking comedian." And they, they said, "What the fuck happened to you inside?" Well, inside? they uh, they got to witness the birth of an artist, so they saw it from really humble, right? He's <laughs> like, "Were they were able to witness?" <laughs> <laughs> they were, sir. <laughs> Simply stating the fact. I would love to talk about myself. Like <laughs> that. Simply stating the fact. So, Bach had your mom and your dad. They were able to witness the both of some fucking artists. You know what I'm saying? It's really good. You really hope about it, man. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off. All I'm saying is they saw it from inception to reality. You know? 
like me getting out of the military, wanted to do something different for my life. They, you know, saw me when I end up, wound up in a theater class and wound up at the top of my class and just wound up going to, you know, study from there. They just saw the whole thing. So this part of the journey is they're like, wow, I can't believe that you're not having success in L.A. <laughs> based on everything we saw you know my dad only saw me perform like twice he saw me perform in front of like six thousand people at disney world and for me that was the best night of my life you know i did that show for a whole year six thousand people every week and the one at show disney, that my right? dad saw at disney world yeah does your dad think you're funny no <laughs> not at all he doesn't think i'm funny he doesn't understand for why real? i do comedy yeah no my dad never even saw a joke I saw on YouTube like he's never seen me do a joke but I did 20 minutes at his funeral though it was cool everybody um, was ah! <laughs> I can't it was an opportunity for stage time I son. can't right now no no <laughs> they asked if anybody <laughs> they asked if anybody had comments and I had 20 minutes worth of comments <laughs> They had punchlines, man. Took advantage of the family being there and uh, the audience. My dad was the funniest dude I ever met. He would just do funny shit in real life without jokes. Like he told me one day, like, "Hey, I'm gonna teach you how to. Uh, I'm gonna take you to this dude. He gonna teach you how to play the drums." We get to this guy's house. He's got lockjaw. The guy literally cannot talk. He's got lockjaw. And my dad is like, "This is Maestro Danny Jones. He gonna teach you everything to know." We sit down to the drums, and Maestro Danny Jones is like, "I need you to put the ton to ton with the ton to ton and then." For three weeks, <laughs> I had no fucking idea what I was practicing at all. <laughs> and my dad steps in and he's like, let me listen for a while. And I do the thing and, he, and he's like, no, I told you I need to do the dun dun And my dad was like, why don't you just do the dun dun with the dun dun dun? Okay? <laughs> he's being clear as day. You heard him say the dun dun dun. And then put the dun 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 with it, son. Wow, Come on. Oh, what the fuck? Just a hilarious individual. Tight lock jaw. Not even trying to be funny, but no, funny. No, just him. Ash, when you told your family, hey, you know what? They said, what are you doing in LA? What are you doing? She said, I'm going to be a DJ. What are they saying? Take my mic. My, mom, my mom's like, that's cool. Do whatever you want. As long as you have a job that actually makes money. And that was pretty much it. So, I have multiple. Baka, you're trying to look for a story here. No, I'm saying it's super impressive that you have this supportive family. So, hey, do whatever you want, you know. Whatever, whatever your heart feels, you go and you do it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they just, I mean, they don't want to see me struggle, obviously. So like, they do the whole like, you know, you can always come home if you want. So like, but like, it's cool. It's, it's all love. They're supportive. They just don't want to see me struggle. Okay. I'm pretty sure. Imagine that luxury of saying, you know what? I can't pay rent this month. I'm going home. I would love. I would never. I would never pay rent. I would fucking go home every fucking month, man. I'm pretty sure my, my parents and my family would love to see me married with kids already. Like, that is the end of the world. That's success for you, them. Susie? Huh? I don't mean to put you on blast, but how old are you? I'm 30 years old. So, 30 years old, it's, it's about that time to say, you know what, this is what I want to do. I'm going to do this, blah, blah. Yeah. And they, they say, hey, Susie, what's up? It's not that I'm not down for all that. It's just, I'm concentrating on me right now. You're here fucking shit up, right? Yeah, I'm fucking shit up right now. It's like, I don't care. Damn, Susie Q. That's what People say, what do you do for a living? I said, I fuck shit up, man. I fuck, fuck shit up. up. DJ I'll Susie. let you talk when they ask DJ me. DJ hey, Susie. DJ Susie Q is the, uh, you know, the resident DJ for the D DJ's commodity. Uh, commodity. Do you have an the Instagram? The show that we do every Saturday night at the Clinton, you know. Oh, she's going to be there on Saturday? She's always there, man. Yo, fam, I'm about to follow you on Instagram. I heard your shit last time I was there. It was got me. You heard my shit? Yeah, it made me feel better about my life. I didn't. I felt she's weird. Like, like, Walking up to her randomly and being like, yo, can I get your Instagram? Maybe next week. Maybe next week. I'll Maybe next, next week. life. I see all y'all at the bar. Let me, let me ask a question. What's your best joke, man? I don't got no jokes. Well, that's not good for comedians. Right? What's your best joke, man? My best joke, joke. Yeah, my my go-to joke is. You want to know it? I'll say it. I always when everyone's like, entertain me, say a joke. I'm always like, all right, you want to hear a joke? Okay, I'll I'll do it. I'll go. I say, uh, what did the eggs say to the boiling water? And they're always like, what? And I go, I don't know if I can get hard enough. I just got laid this morning. That's, that's that the, is pretty funny. Huh? I did that. I did that in an audition, and the guy was like, "That's not Disney appropriate," but that was funny, and I didn't book it. But that's I, my go. I want to audition right now. With these guys. You. Ready? <laughs> What's your best? Joke? I'm gonna say a joke. Y'all say if I got it. Ready? All right, for sure. I got two short jokes and a long joke. Go ahead. 
Joke, joke, joke. Did I get the part? No. No. Nah. Don't worry, I didn't get Boy it. Boy Kong, who's your best joke? Um, I have this joke where I tell the audience to go fuck their dreams. <laughs> that is pretty good. I love good. that and, um, joke, by the way. That's my go-to joke. I just tell. What's your joke? I have a joke where I tell the audience to go fuck their dreams, son. So you get up there and you say, hey, my name is Lloyd, Lloyd Collins. Um, fuck your dreams. That's all you say. I should start saying like that, but no, how I do it is. I'm like, Take that. Yeah, thank you. But no, I go up and I'm like, hey, guys, if anybody in the house tonight has a dream, you know, you saw a lot of comedians go up. You know, you got a dream of doing something, man. Just make some noise to everybody in the house with a dream. And then they clap. And then just when they get done clapping, I'm like, fuck your dreams, nigga. And that's the joke. Is it a joke where you say, hey, you know what? Don't go after your shit. No, he's he's literally saying, like, fuck, go fuck your dreams. Are you saying Fuck your dreams, hey! Ha, ha, ha. Fuck your dreams, haha. I just say, fuck your dreams. Like I just—it's <laughs> a lot. But yeah, it's a deeper meaning behind it. I tell people that I mean it in the most positive way possible, man. Like, go so after your dreams. You can't be positive and say, fuck your dreams. Yes, you can. But you know what's all good, my No, I'm talking about the act, the process. Like literally um, fuck your dreams. Literally fucking your dream. Like having sex with your dreams <laughs> and your motivations <laughs> in life. Like penetrating the things that you want to do and bringing them into a reality, dog. Like making something with your dreams and having a life from it. Like that type of fucking like breeding reality type Me. fucking dog. So you can fuck your dreams, B. It's my wow. joke, nigga. I know what the I'm fuck like, I'm talking I'm about. Like that deep fucking love and fucking <laughs> Yeah, we like stupid, you know what I'm saying? Yeah! Me, myself. <laughs> oh, my bad about the curse words. My bad. He would say, fuck, say, fuck. You're not just the appropriate. I'm saying, you, you really fuss about it. Me, I've never had sex before, but I, I figured that's what it is. Oh, wow. Well, you wouldn't One know the... One fingers crossed it'll happen, but, you know. I don't think so. Guy. I think so. I think so. You don't think it's happening? Nah. I see you with a girl at every show I've been to. Every so fucking show. I don't understand so why you're telling me. So it's up. Yo, changing the, the subject. Show. Changing 10, 18, the subject. 1018. <laughs> Track. We're gonna cut that shit off, man. You know? Cut, cut, really? cut, cut, cut. Which, which show have you seen me with a woman? You want to talk this shit? We'll show you. See me with a woman. Uh, the Glendale show. Yep. I've been, that, I've been, so I've been, 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 I've been booked so on, I've, I've been booked on your show maybe three times now, four coming up, and not getting another one. <laughs> no, but I. Ah! Yeah, he sits in the back. No, no, no. He sits in the back of the bar, and I've seen, I've seen women back there with him, and he's all like this. He's like this. He'll sit next to him, and then he's like this with them, and I'm like, who's? Is this way? Is this the same girl as the? Like I'm trying to figure it out. I'm trying to figure it. I'm like. Front Street. Looks different. Wow. It's a different. I've always seen the same girl. You know what? That seat that says is going to be open for you. So yeah. You know what I'm oh, saying? great. So I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You're going to come to this whole event. What? Does, you have a girlfriend? Uh, no. Yeah, let's oh, talk about it, buddy. <laughs> let's freaking talk about it, yeah? <laughs> hey, Barry. Uh, <laughs> who, just, who just spent your birthday with you there, guy? You just spent it with your yes girlfriend? No. It's, it's a simple question. Yes or no? I'm dating L.A. style. You know how we do it. Dating L.A. style. That means, yeah, let's talk about on the air in front of everybody what it means. Yeah, you got jokes, <laughs> huh, Barry? So, this, the woman you're talking to, the woman you have, um, the woman that says, Hey, I like you, yep. I'm gonna come to your show. She oh. you. Do, you, do you say, Hey, come on over, it's all good? Or you say, Hey, you know what? I'll hit you up after the show, maybe we can, we can link, we do whatever. Uh, you know, it's always different, it varies on the mood. So, uh, what type of. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey, Baka. <laughs> hey, Baka. <laughs> Hey, Baka. Hey, Baka. Hey, I'm gonna take him here for like one minute, please, sir. Here we go. All right, so, uh, so, uh, what type of uh, what type of women are you attracted to, Barry? Crazy ones. Crazy ones. Yeah. Uh, okay. Do you don't like have like a race that you prefer? What's the race of a female you dated recently? Uh, well, you know, it varies every day. Every you day, know? different girls every day. Every day. Have you ever tried? Uh, hold up. Sex with one woman in my life, man. So every day is a, it's a lot. Oh shit. All right, I feel you. Hey, bye. Hey, you know what, Barry? Have you ever thought about dating Asian women, Barry? What? <laughs> it's beautiful. What's sitting right? Hey, how are you doing? <laughs> Do, do your, do you know, have Barry. you met Barry? I have met Barry. Do, oh. do your Funk Master Flex bomb on the, on the Here we bomb. go. Bam, 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 bam. 
You can tell these niggas play with a lot of action figures when they were children. Avoid the subject change. The subject. What? I have bitches. I don't just have women. Oh, wait a minute. Didn't he say rewind? Let's scroll back up to the moment he said, I don't call females bitches. Did I say that earlier? (laughs) Nigga, I got you on live Instagram. It's recorded. I'm going to send you the demo. I forgot. We got you, fam. That was good. I like that. I forgot. Yeah, nigga, we got you. Yo, yo, Suzy Q, you over there laughing a lot, but you like, yo. Yeah, what type of chicks you would be with Suzy Q? Woo! You know, she's laughing a lot, but she's like, yo. I need so and so on my stage. I'm like, what are you talking about? She's like, yeah. yo. Oh, oh yo. she be. She's like, yo. She's she like, be yo, requesting Baca. them thighs. Oh, huh? shit. She's like, yo, Baka. I need you on my stage. Yeah. Yeah, but well, you made that happen. I love you for that shit. Hey, yo. Susie, 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 Susie. She be looking at her favorite comedian and get really into the scratch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, you want to do it like. There so she go, there she go. Uh, 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 uh. I'm gonna see the cha cha. She what she do. She be in there scratching. Down. If that's how you do it, My that's bad. why you don't got a girlfriend, man. Damn, she over here. That's how you do it. On your head. I don't. I have bitches. I don't need. Um, on your head like a do rag. Thank you. Uh, no, but in being in the industry, people would think that oh, you have like a lot of girls. And I don't. Honestly, I just have Amen. crushes on like fifty of them, and then it's like. Oh, Amen, sister. Like it's coming your way, fam. Instantly, don't trip. She, she knows it. She, knows, she knows, like, yeah, I, I like all these women, but you know, I don't know, maybe. Fuck all that. She's trying to stay super humble. Fuck your dreams, uh, yeah. Noel. <laughs> Hey, Noel, you ever thought about dating a black dude before? Have you ever dated that before? Damn. Noel, you know, never? But you don't want the ghetto guys. You Haven't want ever dated one? Nope. Maybe oh, one's okay. the hell. What, you, you have a boyfriend? No. No? Nope. When's that somebody had a boyfriend? What? When's it, when is the last time? <laughs> Let's talk about it. Welcome <laughs> to the show. When is the last time? You when had a is the last time? Uh, probably five years ago. Five years ago. So you're what? You're what? 22? No. Oh, Try again. Try again. Oh, you told me so, I yeah, I'm, I'm asking you to try again. So during this five years, <laughs> like, you oh, just kind of do the L.A. dating oh, thing? Said. During the five years, that five years, you're doing the L.A. dating thing no, with everybody you were meeting? I just meeting, moved just out here two of, years ago, so if you count the uh, three years in Chicago. Oh, yeah. you're doing the Chicago dating thing, cool. Is there okay. a Chicago dating is way, it, too? Is, it, is that where you I don't get know. all your bitches? No, 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 it's just in Chicago? No, I get my bitches online. Tag.com. Tag. T-A-G-G-E-D.com. Yo, trust me. She's like... Definitely north side. Definitely That's north side. Very, very, very north, 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 north side. North side. North side. North north. 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 Near the Wisconsin border yeah. side. <laughs> when is the last time you had a boyfriend? Yeah, five years ago. She said that. Boyfriends. You're still trying to guess my age. No, no. <laughs> 25. It's none no. of my business. What is that Asian women don't age. She could be anywhere between 19 and 53, though. <laughs> like, <laughs> 50 fucking three. Asian women Get don't. Down. Age. Age. Only yeah, he's trying to put his bid in over here. Look at this. Crazy. That's not even my bid. That's you're, you're, like, Yo. you're doing your own bid. Too. I know he was like, hey, you, Lloyd never thought about, about this. Lloyd didn't think about so this. Much. Listen. <laughs> I've had sex. I'm not trying to do anything. Okay, yeah. that's number uh, one. Number one. But you fingered number a woman, one. right? Yeah, this one. Yo, that's the mic's off. Yeah, yeah. The show's over, dude. You what? Good, good job. The show's over. Good job. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> when is you a comedian? When is the last time you had a boyfriend? Five years ago. She said five years ago, three times now. And why did you break up with him? Why did we break? We just had, like, we just got too busy. For real busy? How? Yeah. That's bullshit. They had work. Bullshit. I worked. Bullshit. Uh, bullshit. There's okay. always time for that. Is there? That shit. Always, always time. time. Is there always time? And he's referring to sex, by the way. I told me it's always time for that shit. Yeah? I that did not say that, bro. why you don't have a girlfriend. Hold on. <laughs> she, said, she said, you know what happened? She said, hey. I do want to know. Said, wait, is said, this with all of them or just one? All of them. Oh. They said, all of them. They said, <laughs> She's still they said, coming, dog. They said, they said, they I can't help you anymore. All of them. I said, you know what? I'm, I'm not ready. Like, what drugs did you give her? It, everything was good until you get on this fucking on this show and you're like, yo, Baka, every fucking time is a different bitch in the yeah. club. Slow but you know what this is but you know what Baka you know what that says bro and this is the positive thing that I look at ways man like you are an open person you're meeting people you're having experiences that's what life is supposed to be like you're not committed in anything so matter what does it matter if you show up with a different chick that could be well, I'm, I'm, I'm committed to uh the Lord Jesus Christ and the hustle yeah so, so it's that's, you know yeah, I'm yeah. yo Ash look Ash thinks you're yo what yo, if Ash. you found out Jesus Christ you just oh, sell coke oh yeah yo Ash, Ash like, when's the last time you were in a relationship oh a long time ago yo would yeah, you buy okay. coke you play the game you know how to play the game yo Baka yo real quick question 
Would you buy Coke from Young Jesus? <laughs> or on the cross, Jesus? I do not buy Coke from Stop. Uh, Hollywood. Stop. What? All right. That was a good oh, answer. He died. That was yeah, a good yeah, answer. Yeah. That was a real good answer, actually. This nigga I'm, I'm this game over here. Years, you know, Look at you go yeah, you know, with the improv it is with right it, off the cuff. Love it. So let's do this. You guys, you guys got another, you got another ten minutes in you for calling? Yes, sir. Okay. So we get we are going to go to a commotion right now for the B side shop over here on one thirty four Shoppers Lane in beautiful Cofino, California. And we're back in ten minutes, baby. Be Woo! The show. This is a really dope show. Go I'm a dope guy. So we got like two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. This is for the youngest with the student loans, old hands with mortgages, title loans, paid day advance, money forfeiters. Don't think we ain't notice ya. Roll with us over the horizon. This is good times, man. Whether or not you need deep in two or three jobs with an EBT card and you need a restart. Hey, hey, it's follow me as we embark in over the horizon. This is good times, man. I make it happen, I don't make dues. I pay those, break rules, they don't take tools, just game over. I'm the best to make it a work with next to nothing Middle of rim and stay popping out of the dough Fresh at the oven, give it respect as I Cruise along Santa Monica Boulevard And pull the shorty from my accord Off my accord, if she climb aboard Be riding to the tires, worn and wire showing I hug the curb like the sirens on And I am ghosting I let my struggles at the crib Like troubles over chip Can't wait until my hustle starts to bubble in this bitch I'm a save, hit the Grammys Walk the red carpet like a parade Me and my squad mobbing like a brigade Check it. This is for the youngest with the student loans, old heads with mortgages. Tyler Long We are back in the B-side form. Everybody's drunk. Lloyd Collins is bragging about the amount of uh, women you have, right? I said bitches, man. Go. And I wasn't. The bitches that he has. I he wasn't. My boy, Jelani up in the fucking building, man. You know, he stepped through. Uh, Kofi, the resident. What's pop with you, man? 
Oh, uh, man. I just came from grocery shopping, man. <laughs> that's and, so uh, sexy. That's, that's so, like, you know. You know what, but. Yo, it's Pop Hoochie, man. I'm out here trying to make money, Bach. You know what I'm saying? Actually, I'm, I'm in a bad mood. So, though. what's up? Wait, what's popping, man? I'm out here, you know, I, I just went grocery shopping. <laughs> you in a bad mood? What's I'm up? In a bad mood. Lakers. Break man. it down. Lakers. Lakers are fucking up. It, it is only January. You can't, uh, you can't be that mad. No. So you a gambler? We got a worse record than last year. No. Who they play? Who they play today? To, uh, okay, T. I don't gamble. No. Ooh, well, you know that was a they given. They like thirty. You don't gamble no more. Wow. No, no, I never gamble. Good for you. Yeah, I don't gamble. Okay. <laughs> What's new, Jelani? So for the people that don't know that they're watching, Jelani, you've been on the B set for him three times, four times. Yeah, about about four times, four. something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You so, are a promoter. You you know you promote right. shows. You you pass out flyers. You do right. your thing. How do you feel about the state of hip hop? Cause you're at I mean, you know, every time I, anytime somebody asks you that, about that, I think hip hop is fine, man. I mean, popping. You just got it's just more diverse. You got a little bit of something for everybody. So for people that don't like the trap shit that's popping, you still got your boom back. You know what I mean? So why are you worried about? The do you like boom bap? Yeah. I mean, what's the last boom bap show you went to? Well. Uh, you consider a rap city? Is you in rap city? Oh, you yeah, in the observatory? Because you know, you know, young Baca and my boy, right. young young Sean Healy, we did rap city up the, in uh, at LA the at the Men. Right? Yeah, yeah. She was, she, the, rap city was super friendly. That's all I'm saying, man. Oh yeah, she cool. Rap city was dope, man. Yeah, but rap uh, was dope. and she's a good person too. Oh, for sure, Unlike man. Everyone else I mean, we had her, we had her on pay dues years ago. You know, long time ago. Yeah, man. Nobody hardly knew it. What did you do for New Year's Eve? I worked, man. <laughs> What'd you work at? What'd you do? I was on the streets, dog. I was uh, grinding, grinding, putting up posters and shit. You know what I mean? What are you uh, promoting for at night with posters? I mean, that night I was working, pushing stuff for Hard Summer, you know, which is a big music festival that goes on in August. But uh, as of right now, uh, it's, pretty, it's pretty slow, you know, always at the end of the year. At the end of the year, beginning of the year, it's a little bit slow. Yeah, you know, that's entertainment. That's game, entertainment that's in general. Yeah, yeah, you know? So just everybody's just like easing back into it. And come February, it's going to be crazy, especially by All-Star Weekend. Yeah. It's going to be bananas, you know, for anybody in entertainment. Yo, young, young Susie Q, you got some shit popping. What's up? Uh, <clears throat> I've, I was on the show five months ago. Don't, don't spit on my microphone. I spit all over that shit. Uh, she spit all over that shit. Son. Hell yeah. Listen, hey, bad, keep, keep it PG, man. This I did, son. What was you thinking? Guy, bro, this guy. Yo, okay, I'm so sorry, go ahead. maybe like six months ago, I was on the show and I met Blake, uh, Analog Dive. Um, he, um, yeah, he was promoting. He's from Hawaii, I think. Um, cool dude. Um, he actually introduced me to uh, uh, Sire from Los Globos. Um, really good promoter. Awesome guy. I ended up meeting up with him and just shit popped off. And um, finally, got my every other Sunday Latin nights there. Uh, starting January 14th. Um, been chasing the Los Globos for a minute. So I, I finally got in. And it's just, man, it's just a uh, proven fact. Put the working and it comes out man the results are there i'm excited so next sunday there you go man there yo is. young lloyd when's your next comedy event yo um, <clears throat> i don't have any comedy show no, what's this guy? uh my next comedy show i have the pleasure of doing a show uh with this one guy he's a legend in the comedy game and the hip-hop game uh his name is uh young baka and it's on thursday uh no it's on saturday what day is it it is saturday it's saturday night the show is nice Saturday. We're on Saturday the night show. at 9 p.m. at Latitude 34 in Glendale. Ooh. Um, some, some, some Pacific Avenue. Come high let us. 11:14 North Pacific. That's what I said. Yo, Susie's gonna be DJ, man. Oh she yeah, Susie. Yeah, she's gonna be DJ. How do you guys keep forgetting she's gonna be? What is your? What is? What is your next? Like, what is your next like, comedy show? Uh, I'm at the I'm at the Comedy Store on Friday in the Belly Room at 7:30 doing the Shindig show with. Uh, Miss Noel Lynn right here to my left. There you go, man. That's your next show, too? Yeah, if you want to see a 15 to 53 year old Asian come out. To- <laughs> I'm, I'm going to say a number. Jelan, how, how old do you think she is? Be for real. Be for real. 100. Oh, 30? Nah, man. She at least like 53. 
You got a piece, got a seat number. Yo, give me a, about 35. He said 30. He just said a whole decade. He was like, she, this motherfucker said 30 and 35. 26, she's 27. No, she's 28. You gave her 29, she's 30. 50 to 53. He at least was closer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are we going around? What do you think? I said 25. You said no. You said okay. No, I, what did I, hold on. Why don't I get him? Hold on, hold on. Hold on, sir. Hold on, sir. Hold on, sir. <laughs> All right. My bad. I didn't mean 15 to 53. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you made it. Yeah, I didn't make it up. But it was the truth. Let me hold, on, Let hold me. on, sir. Hold on, sir. Let me see here. How old are you? I like, look at me in the eye. Do like this. Do like, like a pirate. Like. Yeah, I'll say she is 72. Yes, not, a day, not, a day younger, not a day younger. Not a day younger than 72. You said 72. Asian people don't age. You, don't, you do know menopause hits at a certain age, right? I don't know what that means. She she knows she can't she can't play. Okay, I'm just gonna tell you. I just had my birthday. You you already said 30. I thought. Did you say Look at me. No, he said 30. Say Young Baka. Young Baka. Say Young Baka, my daddy. No, that's Baka. Oh, you only get people in trouble. There you go. Um, look at me. Look at me. What am I got to look at you? Look at me so I can look at your age. Look at me. First of all, look at me. First of all, I'm going to do this. First of all, hold on. First of all, first of all, excuse you, number one. Excuse everybody. You are 34 years old. No, I just had my birthday, everyone, and I'm 31. Oh, there you go. Yeah, hey. Hey. You said, the you said, you said 15 to 55? I said 15 to 55, so I was the closest. <laughs> 15 to 55. Even yeah. though this nigga right here said 30, so well, we going to forget about that. that says 15 to Let's just forget he said 30. Hashtag and remember, this nigga five. said 15 to I know, right? 55. 15 it should be a bad You old general ass nigga. <laughs> You all order some. Why, why are you taking it so it. personal that I that I'm got no more? I didn't say anything about you, sir. Like Cinnamon the, the toast crunch. You got personal you taking your age. What is this a sign of? Why are you doing this, sir? You all eat some 99 cent Walmart bought cinnamon toast crunch off brand Nash, nigga. You have Batman <laughs> on your shirt, dog. I can't take a grown man seriously with little bats on his fucking shirt. <laughs> Look like your little retarded nephew dressed. Oh, you're who? wearing a lanyard. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, nigga, like you need help. <laughs> <laughs> Dawn, the ball oh, let's keep going. Let's keep going, though. Let's keep going. <laughs> so what? Uh, can I not make sure I don't lose? I don't do it right now. <laughs> I don't have yeah. to be high fashion. <laughs> that shit was but, but my thing is, why are those two uh, talking about me? Why are you both? I love you, Lord. I was just, I was just no, witness. No, no, no. You cool, man. You on the good side. I don't I know what. I was just witnessing you. Were Relationship is going on over there. I don't know. Oh, the fuck is that? Why I can't call you out of what you're wearing. You have, you have team up. I don't got no love in my life. Just tell the truth, man. <laughs> don't be an asshole, dog. Do you think it'll be tough to have love in your life as a comedian? As a liar, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking video is... This guy's been lying his ass off. He's a fucking liar. I'm you, done. You, hey, Vodka, thank you for coming on. Hey, dog, thank you. I can't... I can't... I don't fuck with lying young ass Baca, shit. Hey, thank you, man. I'm gonna holler at y'all later. <laughs> hey, hey, congratulations on the gig. I'm holler on Saturday. Fuck you. Fuck you. I just met you. Hey, how you doing, dog? Hey, man, good to meet you. Peace. <laughs> Is it hard to maintain a relationship in hip hop and a comedy? Hip hop, comedy. It's almost impossible. Why is that? Um, I love to just watch off my fucking show. <laughs> Good. Why is that? <laughs> um, because you travel so much. Once you get started, it's Beverly Hills, Compton, Inglewood is all over the place. No, you just you're going everywhere. You know, you don't know. And in a regular average come up of a comedian who's trying to do more than just do comedy, you're auditioning. You're trying to get your life together. You're literally trying to maintain some type of financial security. You're always trying to upgrade. There's never a moment of silence. If you're really on your grind. Well, it's not just the money you're trying to ascertain. Chill out, man. I got you. I got you. Jelani, how is it to able? How are you able to maintain a solid relationship and promotion? Uh, being, you know, being reliable, being, being, a, being on point, man. Yeah, yeah. Delivering what you say you can. 
I can't you are the only person that is able to you know show right. up at 11 o'clock, 10.45 and say, hey, I want to be on the show. And, and we right put you, you know in, man. Right. Jelani's that dude. If you guys don't know, Jelani <laughs> runs <laughs> L.A., Covina, and I, I mean, uh, hip hop show. He runs that shit, man. I wouldn't say all that. I said you know? Jelani. I ain't the only one that do what I do. You know? I said Jelani, can I get show? Can I get tickets to a dip set show? He says, I said all my rookie What have you done for me lately, Mark? I said, damn, like that? He to the Janet Jackson. I said, yo, you want to see Killer Ken? You want to see Chuel Santana? What's up, Bach? What's poppin', man? I need my 5%. I said, okay. I pay for this 5%. You can shit poppin'. You, know, <laughs> you the man, man. I appreciate everything, dude. Noel, where can the people find you on Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff? Follow me at I know I Lynn. Yay. Do I get to? That, that has a ring to it. I know I Lynn. Quick and short. You can follow me on Instagram at Dingleberry Keith Code. <laughs> That's such a tough name, right? You you regret making a name for sure, right? No, I was... Yeah, you, yeah, no, you not even. You got to be the butt of your own show. You can't laugh at your own but, shit. But it's so long that if you want to follow you... Nigga, I got a Lord of the Rings ass name regardless. My name is Barry Keith Coe Jr. You think people want to say that shit out loud? Who named you? Crackhead mommy or Beverly Hills dad? My dad. You already knew, nigga. It makes sense. It makes sense. Come on, bro. That was a reciprocal. That young was, young, was young Susanna, where can they find you at? Suzanne? <laughs> oh, wow. that wow. Wow. She wow. said that I'm Suzanne She said I threw wow. all that I'm Suzanne it. Okay um it's just Susie though And <laughs> Susie is spelled, Not Suzanne it's spelled S-U-Z-Y So it's just Susie though Instagram And that's, that's everything uh, Website everything Let me ask everything. you a question On last DJ On last host They have Young Bach Productions That's you on the elbow I got you What does that happen I got you I won't put it on my ass I don't want to hear I got you I want to know when it's going to happen I'm going to put it on my ass there you go. Whoa. Is he gonna be there? Just witness. Young, young ass. I'll put his face in shit. Instagram is what's up, ass. Twitter is that snake. What's up, ass? I want to be as cool as you want. That's my goal. What about Lloyd? <laughs> Lloyd's gone, man. Lloyd, you want to tell me? <laughs> <laughs> I, I am Lloyd Collins. Oh. My nigga Lloyd. I was just playing. I was just playing, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I love this nigga. I was just fucking with you. I just wanted to go you over know, there. You know what your funniest joke is? If nope, you, I don't you know. You walk in and you say, you know what? I look like a black lesbian. That's your funniest joke. Wow. Uh, what's that joke? Yeah. Do I have a joke where I call myself? Nigga, you know. Black lesbian. You know. He's seen you. Come on, bro. Stop that shit, man. Stop that shit, man. Stop that shit. Stop. Stop. I think I did do that joke a couple of years ago. What is your joke? What's a couple of years ago? It was it was two months ago. What's your joke? Yeah, you did say that. Uh, Jelani, black lesbian? Yo, what the fuck, yeah. son? Yeah. You know Isn't what? That Jelani. Tra- Isn't that Tracy Chapman's little brother? Go ahead and get it out. Go ahead and get Isn't it out. Isn't that Tracy, Tracy Chapman's Chapman. little brother? Isn't that fast car, <laughs> motherfucker? Yeah, it, it works. <laughs> you guys are assholes, man. Thought we were friends, bro. Where can the people find you at? People can find me at... Um, Facebook, Lloyd Collins. Uh, just look for the black ones. I'm one of those. Uh, you can find me at Twitter at I am Lloyd Collins. I am. And Facebook at I, I mean, no, and uh, Instagram at I am not Lloyd Collins. I am not. I like that. Is that really your name? Yeah. I am not Lloyd Collins. No, that's, no, she's like a shit, man. No, I, I, uh, that is my username. Yeah, yeah. That's just nice. Thank I am you. not Lloyd Collins. Thank you. I am not. I'm Lloyd Collins Jr. My dad was Lloyd Collins. This is a subtle homage to the guy who taught me everything in life, man. Every time homage. I and took you to them drums, man. Homage. Uh, yeah. <laughs> homage. Maestro she's Danny she's Jones. Shit, man. Took you to the lockjaw. Uh, lockjaw. Yeah. Before we go off the air, what's your favorite joke? What's your best joke? I, I don't judge it. Like, I love them all, man. They're like a joke. Right? Like a, give me one. Give me one. A joke is like a baby, man. Give me one. I'm trying to give you one, but you keep saying give me one, man. I'll give him one. Go ahead, Barry. Fuck the Queen Latifah. Fuck the shit. Oh, I know you ain't talking shit, you milk Let's dud talk, body. Nigga. Let's talk. Why this nigga said milk dud? No, God. I just, uh, whatever joke I would make about what George is, Foreman, you, I just is, transfer it to you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What's your <laughs> best joke? Not I love hey, no, hold on, hold on. No. People say, hey, when they come see you on Instagram or see you on Twitter, what is your joke to get him in? I'm going to answer like the true artist that I am. I love all of my jokes. There it is. Every day, not a boy. Give me one. Give me no. One. Do you want to, you know what? 
you want to see a joke, go to YouTube and type in Lloyd Collins, nigga. Uh, he's jokes there. No, okay? that's magic. I'm not magic. Magic. at work tonight. I'm hanging out with my buddies until they start talking shit. All the shit, nigga. Dumping in toilets. Yeah. You're a funny dude, man. You know, I'm not, not, you know you're saying you're funny, dude. You look funny. You, you make that. Wow. Friends don't don't do say my, that to me, man. Like, don't you're so do that. Positive. Funny dude. You're so positive, man. My friends be like, yo, nigga, that shit was trash, so I don't know why you don't quit, B. You want to give a joke, Squeezy? Yo. You ever want to be a father, Baka? I do. In, the, in five years, seven years. How old do you think is too old to shower with your kids? <laughs> yo, chill. I didn't ask you another question I'm yet. I didn't ask you how old you are. That's cool. I didn't, I'm not Cleo. You don't need to. What a quick joke, man. Good job. No, no, no. I'm not done. Wow, that joke was awesome, man. No, no, no. Oh, my bad. You want to have kids? So I'm 46. I said again two years ago, man. Good for you, man. How old do you think is too old to show with your kids? 42. I'm 42. 42. That's a that's a that's woman's hold question. Hold on, hold on, not a I just turned 42. Oh, that's a woman's oh, question. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, fuck. Oh, do oh, I get interrupted in the middle of my goddamn joke? Let's talk about women's issues. Let's do the same. Let's talk about women's issues. Let's talk about those. This isn't a feminist rally. Noel, how old do you think Jelani is? Ooh. Between 15 he, and 15. <laughs> <laughs> good answer. I understand where you're Hold coming from. I'm going to say 45. She was listening. That's how that shit was. Yeah, thank you. Jelani, how old do you think he is? You're, you already said it though. You said yeah. 45. You said 46, yeah. but okay. Young, young Lloyd, how, how old are you? Here? Young, young. I'm going to answer this the same way that police officers do. Let me see your license, motherfucker. Yeah. Find out everything. <laughs> I don't know, man. I never. I don't know how to. I don't, I don't like guessing age. <laughs> nigga, how old he is? I'm not. Okay, I'm not the nigga guesser over here, man. I don't know the fucking dude age. You look like. <laughs> that's because you're an attractive <laughs> female. This is a. This is a male species. Oh. You see how this nigga's like. Oh, I'm just keeping it real. I'm not, I don't yeah, look at dudes and be like, oh, oh man, hold on. Oh. Hey, yo, look at it. Look at the uh, wrinkles under his eyes, man. He, be, I don't do that to niggas. Yeah, I don't sit around shit, and. Well, you okay. Say young that Ash, young yeah. Ash, how old is he? You're a female. I'm sorry. I, like, I apologize. At least like I realized I did something wrong. Yo, boy, shut up, man. Young Ash, how old is he? I said like 32. Yo, good for you, man. Billy Keith, how old do you think Jelani is? Yo, I think this thing is infinite. Hey, there you go. That's not there good. Go. That means you're old as fuck. That's not good. He's hey. like, yeah. I mean, yeah. Yo, Jelani, how old are you? 38. 38. There you go, man. Yo. 45, hey, yeah. You know what? You know what? You, you know said what? 46? Yeah. You going to do him with the 46? You know what? You're younger than Noel, so that's all matters. 46? Oh. 53. I said 70. Five minutes. Yeah, you're 70, right. 70, 70, sir. Sorry. Lloyd, we're going to find you on Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff. Well, you know what? You can find me at uh Hold on. Nigga, you can find him at a subway, nigga. This is how, this is how I'm going to play it with you guys. Okay, so you can find me on Twitter at I am not Lloyd Collins. Hold on. Can you say that again one more time, sir? I didn't hear you. You can find this motherfucker at a subway. At a subway. <laughs> That's Subway's like the lowest of low, man. What type that's of currency like, will I be like, using at like, the hey, subway, sir? Can like, you please? Can you please? Ex- no, he's going you know, somewhere. What type of what type of currency will I be using at the no, subway? Yo, fuck South Korean coins. <laughs> Real question is, what kind of sub did you get? Oh, <laughs> uh, he's what talking about the lanyard. Like, ah, Tuesday. How oh, you know? You like uh? Go ahead. I'm sorry. You like the, the <laughs> when you go to Subway, what do you get? When I go to Subway, I get um, I get the fuck off niggas shows when I go to Subway. That's what I do. Because obviously I'm going to Subway. I don't fucking need to be here right now. Fuck you guys. I'm going to Subway. Eat fresh, dog. Hey, thank you, Susie. I'm glad you care, y'all. Give me some, give me some that, man. Oh, yeah, you talking, motherfucker? You like a real life teddy bear, nigga. Let's talk. I thought you was in a movie with Mark, Mark, Mark Wahlberg a couple of years ago, son. Hey, did you win that Oscar B or they, they fucked you over? Oh, oh, you see how he did it like he had some hair, though? I think it's supposed to go like this. Oh, that's how it's supposed to go. Nah, man. No, I ain't shaking nothing. No, don't touch me. Hey, rape, son. 
Yeah, yeah, you left me hanging, son. Yo, Caesar Q, you a real nigga, yo. Hey, yo, Bach. Drop the mic on your ass, son. Ah, I'm out. For the second time, I'm done. For the second time, sorry. You can't come back after the after the All second right, time. Y'all don't want me to leave. All right, cool. Let's do it. Let's finish the show. We we fucked up. Oh, that was Susan funny. Susan Q, where can they find your Instagram, Twitter, all this stuff? All right, one well, well, one more time. Uh, I'm drunk already. <laughs> It's just Susie though. Hey, you gotta drive home. Let's, let's not say that on my show. You gotta, you you're right, you're right, right. I'm, I'm so sober. fucked up. Ah. Nah, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> um, my website, suzyqwit.com, or it's just Susie on Instagram. Thank you, thank you. Young Noel, where can I find you at? Yo, finish that shit. Young Noel. I thought I was old. I am not suzyq.com. She does look 75, just for the record. She does. She looks Middle like an older Asian lady. Like, well, 75 is still a young Asian lady if you think about it in a certain way. But yes, she does look 75. I just wanted to say that one more time. But I'm Young Noel. Uh, you can follow me at iNoelLynn on Instagram and Twitter. Is it tough? Is it tough being a woman in, in comedy? Yes, always. So you say, hey. Do you not remember asking this question like 47 <laughs> minutes ago? <laughs> it was exactly 47 minutes ago when you stood there. Ask. You didn't put the mic down. He was doing all dramatic, like, motherfucking <laughs> Montel Williams. Is it tough <laughs> being a female comedian? Montel Williams. I'm right now. But that facial expression. Mark, this is oh, how we do it. <laughs> <laughs> he did. <laughs> he, he asked you a real tough question, like, "Why do you do comedy?" <laughs> With the head nod and everything. But you feel as a uh, woman comedian, <laughs> you get up there, or you you want to book shows with certain promoters, and they say, "Hey, they try to hit on you, right?" You have to get hit on all the time. Um, who are these? Who are these promoters? I, I get hit on too, dog. Come on, man. He's going. <laughs> The fuck? Know, right? Niggas be like, hey man, I'll hook you up with some stage time if you if yeah, you don't but, ever come back. Yeah, you don't but, ever. But Lloyd has that body though, so it's a little, it's a little different. It's a little different, you know what I'm saying? How? Why is it different? But that's me. That's, that's me. just me. That's me. That's me. Creepo guys try to hit on me, right? What? Um, sure, yeah, but cre- creepo guys hit on girls everywhere, not just comedy shows. True, Jelani, you get hit on all the time, right? Ain't no one uh, hit on me since '96. Hell nah. Set him straight, man. Hell nah. <laughs> Not by the right girl. What, anyway. what is the next event you promoting for, Johnny? You know what? Um, I'm trying to just get my next show going. What's your next show? Let's talk that shit, Jelani. Four you know, times. We just, jam. just trying to get that Queens of LA popping, man. Ooh. You know that all female art show. Yeah. Benefit yeah. for underprivileged women. Hey, Jelani, so, uh, I think yeah, the man. show. Just. Hit me up. You talk about it. You know, <laughs> I know. I know, game. Hey, we're gonna people find you online, man. Uh, you know, just for the second time, you can find me on Twitter at you talk way too much with a two, fam. Uh, not T W O because they didn't let me do that. You talk way too much because I usually do way the fuck too much, like right now on this rant. And Dingleberry Keith Co. You know, Dingleberry Keith Co. On Instagram, Dingleberry Keith Co. And you can find me on Twitter at uh, Yo Mama's House <laughs> eating yams on the motherfucking porch. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. It's really, <laughs> really simple mindedly me, funny. It's, yeah, it's, like, it's funny in the way that like a seven year old is like, ha ha, four plus seven is 14. Ha ha ha. Yeah! <laughs> That's funny, right, mommy? No, I'm an educated individual. That's actually let just me, the let fact. Let me ask you one question. <laughs> it's, oh, oh. How old is Young Baka? Uh, I'm 27. He's 47, guys. They belong to you? They belong to me. No tobacco. Little Bill. All right. So here we go. <laughs> when you smoke way too much weed, <laughs> way too much. I, I never smoked weed in my life. I've never touched it. Good. You know what? Now, Baka, we be getting high as shit. I wish I could be you. That's for years. years oh, that's me at 21. Woman, I've never touched weed. Never happened. Well, you oh, keep that bullshit to yourself. You keep that bullshit to yourself. You can keep that bullshit to yourself. You look like you be balls deep in bitches. So stop it. I appreciate the comment. You I don't know what that looks like. I don't know. You've never me. touched a woman because this is touching a woman, okay? She's one right. Day, she, we're new to that. One day, maybe, fingers crossed, 
Hey God, one day I want to meet Nigga, who's going to rain the bomb in your dick if you talk? Who's got you, fam? Who got you? You need Ray uh, Donovan? We got you. Ray Donovan is a good show. Oh, that nigga's a ghost. That's, that's your opinion, man. So the vegan, the vegan raps are you. The vegan raps are because I cough. It's a little embarrassing, right? It's embarrassing. It's a little what? You can't even handle I can't. You can't handle meat, you know? I can't handle meat. That's why I'm fat. If you're you smoking uh, vegan raps. If you're talking vegan raps, it's because you're sick. Like I am coughing up. Wait, were things. you just talking shit about LA people and vegan and yeah. all that shit? I got, I got G. Homeless people want to be vegan. Fuck that I got shit, these man. raps because being vegan is only for me, son. When Especially you, when I smoke, B. When you smoke, smoke vegan when the you most. smoke tobacco, you cough a little more, and I'm sick. So I'm gonna hit you yeah, with that scientific. You were trying to be funny. I was gonna. You was building into it. Get him, fam. Boss, That's what you do. Get him. I'm not mad. I, I hear you, man. Get him, fam. I hear you, man. You yeah. look like shit. Oh, I look like leg Damn. drop shit. Damn. What? The leg drop shit. Y'all been checking each other What's out. I feel you now. Top oh, turnbuckle God. off the off the top turnbuckle. <laughs> Ultimate Warrior things. WWF shit. Yeah. Does anybody want to promote any show before we leave? Hall of Fame. Yeah, I got this uh, open mic coming up. I'm going to be at this place called Marty's. Yeah, this Stop playing, man. Yeah, yo, we got this open mic on Saturday night. So y'all can come down to Marty's. I ain't going to be there at all. But I got that coming up. Uh, Shouts out to Marty's. Y'all should fuck with it. Hollywood, Sunset. Don't look for me, though, because I'm not going to be there. It costs five bucks. Oh, That's shit. Right. I just want to shout it. that out. I got two I more a, shows. I have a show on Monday in Santa Monica. Um, Shanton. McLean. McLean. There McLean. you McLean. go. McLean. Yeah, McLean. Yeah. McLean. Sorry. At Larry's Bar. So come out to Santa In Monica. In Venice, not oh, Santa Monica. Sorry. I forgot one. I forgot <laughs> one. I'm also going to be um, off Sunset. And uh, what's that? Sunset and Gower. I'm gonna be on Sunset and Gower at the, on the fucking corner. subway, nigga. That's nigga. where I'm gonna be at. <laughs> Eat no ass meat, promote, nigga. nigga. <laughs> Eat some meat. Okay. I don't need meat, sir. I'm not eating the meat that you're referring to. Just the ones that I choose. The actual granite. So I just want to say that. Too. My name is Young Box Man. This is a B-side form. We get together every other Wednesday night. We talk all things life, all things hip hop, all things business, all things industry. You can find me at Young Boxer, at Young Box Productions, YoungBoxProductions.com. We're gonna be in, in, in Las Vegas in January 20th. We're gonna yeah. be in New York in April. We're Woo. gonna be in Oakland the month after that, man. We're doing big things. Hit us up, YoungBoxProductions.com. We out here, baby. B-side form. We out. Hey. When I said the rap game was in the drought, I was swimming in so much dope, I had to break my life, catch it out. Like, look, mama, no hands, I'm standing on top of a motherfucking hundred grand. They took a shot, air bow. You think I give a fuck about your pussy, got it out. Yelling, how's it going? Oh, man, I'm standing on top of a motherfucking hundred grand. Workout, bitch, run your lips. I know you dig a hole six feet deep with a spoon just to see me trip. The window shopping and can't see the gift. When the shit is sitting in front of your face like cement in between the bricks. If the world had a name for me, I'd be American. This whole shit started out with bitch, bet I can. And I do it with a Casio and a farmer's tan. And on top of a hundred grand, oh, bet I stand. And I made it through cause I had heart. Waking up to roaches in my cereal box. But it, that's a bad start. Food stamps in the path one. Some of these bitch ass rappers will take a dick to say they had it hard. So make one of these slow to intercept you. Into your dorm room and pop through your internet. Goon, I'm spring loaded with the soul of an old man. Drinking a fist and sniffing with my knee in an old band. Like, hey, look, mama. No hands. I'm standing on top of a motherfucking honey grand. They took a shot. Air bow. You think I give a fuck about your pussy? Got it out. Yelling.